Hello everyone. So, in order to attempt this question, we first need to understand what is stored inside the passive loody file. So, a system is always full of users. They can be old, they can be new, or any future entries can be added or removed. So, whenever a new user is created to a system, it makes it entries in some of the files. And passive loody is one of the files that stored the basic information like what the UID, which shell user will get, which home directory it will get, and it comments related to that. So that would be stored inside the passability file. Now, if you see a typical passability file entry, it would be similar to this. This file will contain a lot of entries depending on the user your system has. So let's bifurcate one of the user. So you don't understand that each and every entry or attribute was separated through a colon. So things between a colon is a separate entry. Now, the first thing is unique username. No two users can have a same username on a same system, obviously. Then an encrypted password. This X doesn't mean just an encrypted password. It simply means you don't have a password for that. Only the user or the administrator knows what will be the password of that particular account. Now, next entry would be a UID. So whenever a user is created, no user cannot be, or a simple words, a user cannot be created without a UID. So a UID would be assigned to a user, which would be unique for it. So no two users can share a unique UID or a same UID. Going further, a unique GID. So if the GID is not available or if users want to create any other GID, they can also do mention it at the time of the creation. So it just represent in which group the user is part of. User can be part of multiple groups, but one primary group will be there and that is represented through this GID. Then you can further associate any comments with the user, what type of rights it has, what purpose user is solving. So you can put similar small comment for a user inside this thing, the JCOS field. Now, when the user will log in or if it's allowed to log in, what shell it will get. So, uh, my bad, what home directory it will get for itself by default. So this field show what a home directory user will get when it first log into a system. Then the shell it has, it can, it can multiple values. It can be a shell value or it can be as a no login shell. So anything can be there. So it will simply show when a user will log in in a particular directory, what shell it will get or it's authorized to. So that is somehow the possibility file is being written and the entry is stored. Hopefully that solved your question. Thank you very much.